Top 10 Guitar Riffs of the 2000s. I believe that's the title. Yeah, exactly. Um, Queens of the Stone is just a thumbnail. I believe the song is called No One Knows from Songs for the Deaf. Songs of the Deaf. I believe it's for, who cares. Um, that's gonna be on the list. That annoying as Franz Verdenen single. I'm not sure how it's called again. Uh, Take Me Out. I really hate that song. I just think it's annoying as hell. It's just like a generic indie rock, so who cares? Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, the slideshow, so Can't Stop is on there. Oh man, it's such a gimmicky band, fuck's sake. Um, maybe the Rebellion Lies riff from Arcade Fire, but that's more of a piano lick, I suppose. But I do have that next list because that's pretty great. Or Arcade Fire in general, but I, I believe they're not really a riff band. They're more of a, they're more of a like chamber pop, pop rock kind of band in the in the alternative rock band. So they're, they're not really based on riffs. They're more on a melody, on a, on like a melancholic vibe as well. I love them so much. Uh, so that's pro. That's not gonna make the list. I think. I can't really think of a lot of riffs, probably of what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking uh, Seven Nation Army riff from White Stripes, of course, is gonna be number one. Uh, yeah, that basically. I'm not sure if they're gonna include metal, but probably only like alternative and indie rock, so there you go. I think it's based on rock music, so. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Uh, Top 10 guitar riffs of the 2000s. Starts out with a fucking bass, <laughs> bass line. You can roll this <laughs> Good fucking job, Watch Mojo, but I know, I know what you mean. The riff from Reptilia. Death from Above, 1979. It's a great song, but not per se. What the fuck is the band name, though? What the fuck? Death from Above, 1979. That's that's like a whole fucking band title and then a number behind it. What fucking? What kind of a fucking name is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Queens of the Stone Age. Chosen one song per artist oh, okay. and stuck to what we felt were their most signature, memorable, and or skilled guitar riffs uh, in the early 2000s. We've also excluded instrumentals. Oh, alright. Um, I have a song called again. Uh, fucking on Welcome Home by Cody and Camera. Their only amazing song, unfortunately, okay. because I do really love this song, but I'm not a huge Coheed fan, but this is a great song. 10. Welcome Home, Coheed and Oh, I was like, drum fill, but it's still... I mean, it's probably still a frizzling out, sizzling out. And that watch mode is just gonna skip the fucking drum fill. Fucking watch it. Starting from the simple guitar chords played at the beginning of the song... Fucking play it already, you know, fuck's sake. You're in for something sinister and dark with this tune. Oh, of course, when I gave up, then it comes in, of course. Let's rewind it for a bit. Dark with this tune. I fucking love that drum. I love the drum fill. The electric guitar begins to wail as it's paired Such a great song. the sound of the drums. Do, 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 do. Welcome home has a heavy metal sound. The pairs It's like heavy metal progressive rock proc metal. This is like my breath and butter right here. I mean this song is fucking amazing, but the band itself is kind of subpar. I mean the harmonies, the guitar riffs, the fucking tone of this song, how fucking dark it sounds, it's just fucking perfect. And then I checked out their other songs and I was utterly disappointed. This is kind of like a one trick pony band. They did one thing really fucking well, this song, and they never really made another song like it. But it's an amazing song, I love this song, but other than that the band is kind of meh. Nah. You know, that that's kind of it, honestly. Sorry if you're, a, a, you know, a fan of this band, I get it. I'm a fan of the song, but not per se of this band. Might be the thumbnail though, it really is a fantastic song. This song is a bit weaker. Yeah, you can say that again, fuck sake. Number 9, Beast and the Harlot, Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, oh, this is though. 
I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this song, but the tits are there, so I can at least look at it. No stranger to shredding. I mean, um, the ref's vocals are, or vocals, the ref's drums are pretty crisp. Crisp have a nice kind of like crisp sounding drum tone to it. I do like the drum snare. Many notable guitar it sounds cheap, but it sounds good. Check out Afterlife. It's a good song too. It's pretty much the best song, really. Good guitar solo. I mean, Avenge is one of those bands that I do like, but I have a hard time admitting it. But they, like, I have a really hard time to say they're a good band. But they're not per se really that good of a band, but they do have some good songs. That's yeah. There you go. They do have some good songs and albums, for that matter. I've reviewed them, so there you go. That blonde chick was hella cute. They have a lot of old chicks in the music video. Holy oh, shit. Not so not what the fuck. Not so much good good music. Oh, I paused literally at the worst time possible. The song's guitar riff is Jesus Christ. Fights with the beat, but instead of clashing. M Shadows is such a fucking emo dude in this song, <laughs> in this music video. Says the person with a with sunglasses and a fucking <laughs> with a fucking hat on. Sure. How do you call this? I suppose it had. I don't know. English, not my primary, uh, primary language. I'm really going to shit right now. Chicks are hell of fine now. Holy shit. Number eight. Oh uh, yeah, I can't stop. Number eight. Can't stop. Red hot chili peppers. Uh, all right. I mean, the riff is okay. It's kind of simplistic, and then the vocals kick in, and the song's kind of ruined, honestly. Complex are the perfect words to describe the guitar work on this track. No. Did I like the previous song? Not really. I suppose it's a good album, though. Let's call it again. City of Evil is a good album. It's just like one chord for the entire solo, like so half-assed. Oh, there's so much feel. It's literally so fucking dumb. Then, as the song builds, he ratchets up his play. John John for Shante is one of the most overrated guitars ever. Oh, he has so much melody, has so much feel. Yeah, but he's not technical. He's not a good guitarist. He just plays a few chords and that's kind of it, honestly. I mean, I'm not into like a lot of shredders. The only shredder I really like is Ingwe Malmsteen. But, you know, what I'm saying is you, you gotta have feel, but you also gotta have a bit of technicality though. If, it's, if shit gets boring, you wanna step it up a bit. Um, and you know, John Frusciante is basically just touching a few chords and that's kind of it, honestly. Chad Smith is tired of playing a Pepper's tune. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't hate this band, but I mean, if you're tired of playing this song, then yeah, you're not a very good drummer. I mean, come on now. I like, I don't mind the Peppers, but I hate this fucking song. It's just like dun, dun, dun. The guitar tone is disgusting. The drums are lifeless. The vocals are annoying. It's like an indie rock tune. It's just so fucking annoying. Number seven, take me out. I don't get this song. I really don't. Franz I mean, this riff. It sounds like the definition of you being bored. That's how it sounds to me. I don't get this band, I really don't. This is like a one in one band, so it doesn't matter. No, it's so annoying. I'm not moving to it though, so... This song sounds so terrible, man. The production is horrible on the song. I never really realized how bad this song really is, but it really is terrible. 
What the hell is that music video to? It's like Paper Mario, but on a budget. I just don't get this band. The 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 same repetitive riff to close it out with. The 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 just fucking stupid. Speaking of fucking stupid, this retarded band. Number six, Mr. Brightside, the Killers. Oh fuck, uh, fuck Miralex for requesting this. He changed her name. He changed her. He changed his name. What the fuck is over that? I mean, this is like another one of these gay ass ARTV bands. I really don't care for. Like pop punk and shit like that. I mean, just fucking look at their fucking genre. They're pop punk, aren't they? Fuck's sake, of course they are. I'll fucking bet you the killers. Red main and all, but sucky bands. At the same time, it's melodic and tightly controlled. Pop rock. Ooh, re really close. Yeah, oh, wait, what the fuck? It's really close. It's really close to pop punk. They're pop rock and post punk. Really fucking close to pop punk material right there, but they're not. But they are a very terrible band, so it doesn't matter. If you want a good pop rock band, listen to Fleetwood Mac. This is way fucking better. I mean, come on. Terrible band. Oh, what is this? Oh, a uh, Velvet Revolver. I mean, I mean, fuck this band. This is Guns N' Roses and uh, Stone Temple Pilots, two of like my least favorite bands ever. So. Number five, Slither, Velvet Revolver. Two or not two of my two of the worst bands ever, but two of the bands I just don't give a shit about. Guns and Temple. The title of this track matches its main guitar riff perfectly. Two bands that are just kind of bland to me, honestly. And they made a super group together and they're just kind of bland. Alright. Who would have imagined that two bland bands together would be bland? No one would expect that, really. I mean, Duff and uh, Scott Weiler need to put on a fucking shirt. I mean, come on. No. No. The guy peaks on a strange. You cannot get better than that song, and that's pretty much where where it ended, really. The riff brought the song to the next level, so it's no surprise that the contraband single also earned Velvet Revolver a Grammy for Best Hard Rock Performance. Uh. I hate those A's in the chorus, it's so retarded. It's a nice ass shot though, holy shit. Nice. Oh, Dream Theater, nice. Probably gonna be a tunnel, really. Number four, the Dark Eternal Night, Dream Theater. I did not expect Dream Theater to hit this list. An actual good band. The song begins with a minute of powerful, uninterrupted guitar playing. Listeners know they're in for something good. Guitar riff of the Dark Eternal Light is loud, complex, and quick. And yeah, that's why I love it. Oh fuck my nose, Jesus Christ! Also at the fucking the perfect moment right now. At such a rapid speed that it creates a sense of controlled chaos with each pick of his fingers. Fuck my nose. The song's lyrics borrow from an H.P. Lovecraft story that perfectly matches the guitar's frenzied sound. I think this album is really underrated. Fuck my nose. Oh my god, Dream Theater's way better. No one knows, 
queens of the Stone Age. Yeah, no one knows Dream Theater's are better bands, but I mean, so obvious. The guys on. knew exactly what they wanted for this song's sound, and so it spent five years in the making before Queens of the Stone what the Age fuck? finally saw it fit to record. It's literally dun dun dun. It's literally the same chord. Du, 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 du. It's like the most generic riff ever there. That's kind of it, honestly. Yeah. How does that? How does that riff make five years to fucking make? How does that take five years? What the fuck? I'm not a huge fan of how it sounds, so it's kind of farty, honestly. And the, the the only part that I do really like about the song is uh, whenever it goes into that, du -du 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 -du, you know, when it goes into that repetitive ass riff. It is repetitive, but it sounds very like driving and shit like that. You can drive to this shit. No one knows a recognizable riff is catchy enough to draw in large audiences, but it also has enough of an edge to please hard rock purists. The riff adds soul to the stoner rock track and matches Josh Homme's vocal performance. To I mean, stoner rock. Yeah, I guess they are, but. I mean, just listen to Kai's way better band. Queens is the bad band, they are good, but Kai's is so much fucking better. I mean, come on now. And this is just okay to me. Another one of those gay ass air TV bands. I mean, come on now. Single wasn't only a critical success, it was also. It is, I have to say, it is the best band that air TV likes, so there you go. But it's still an air TV band, so fuck that. A Grammy for best hard rock performance. Oh, they skip, of course, like that Frey Train attack of guitarist. That's like the best part, and they skip that. Thanks, Mojo. They just skip that. Fuck them. Oh, fuck this band. Number two, plug in baby, Muse. Why do people like this band so much? I can get Queens. Queens is a good rock band, but I don't get Muse. I really don't. They sound like Primus, but, but uh, they sound like Primus, but they actually want to be serious. That's how they sound to me. And this guitar riff to me. But they're actually serious about the music. That's the problem. I hate that bass line. Oh, that bass line sounds so terrible. Songs like Knights of Sidonia demonstrate this as well. I hate that. Knights of Sidonia is fucking terrible. I hate this song. It's not like a fucking Z top riff. I mean, come on. And I hate when it goes like I will see you. Yeah. I, I hate that fucking chorus. I really don't get news. I really don't. The only thing, the only you know, sending with Queens of the Stone Age. The only part I like about the song is the chorus. And I'm a plug-in baby. I do like this part, and for some reason, when it kicks into the chorus, the the instruments sound way better. So I'm not sure what that's all about. What the fuck? They're actually playing their instrument this time. This is pretty much their best song, and even this song I kinda hate. So there you go. And now they're like a retro, dumbass sounding band, so fuck Muse. I'm gonna get a hit for that, but I d really don't get Muse, I really don't. I mean, um, I don't... Oh, what the fuck are those visuals? Oh, what, the, what is the fuck is a music video? Like there's a girl in the bathtub right now with like... Hentai tentacles, as legs, what the fuck is that all about? Yeah, they might be into hentai, that, that may be the whole message of this video, I don't know. Oh, and her legs are on the fucking bed. Th this video is so fucking weird. What the fuck are they doing? What the fuck? Uh, Muse confuses me, fucking hell. Uh, Reptilia by the Strokes. For some reason, all of these like audio takes of what Mojo sound really farty and really bad because usually the song sounds really good if you listen to it, but Watch Mojo has like dumbed it down or some shit. 
<laughs> it sounds really bad in this version, but this is a good riff though. It's repetitive as hell, but it is a good riff. Oh, this is actually a really good song. This is I Disappear by Metallica. This song is amazing. I love this song. Unfortunately, it is the only... Uh, it's the... It's the only... It's the last great Metallica song, I Disappear. And after that, they disappeared. And they became total garbage with Saint Anger. Literally drumming on a garbage can and Death Magnetic. And this band is total shit right now. But hey, it's still a good song. <laughs> the last good song by them, so there you go. Uh, Psychosocial by Slipknot. Uh, no, I prefer, I prefer I Disappear by Metallica. I prefer pretty much uh, anything uh, from Metallica, you know, over Slipknot, most things. You know, except if, except if you get to that like very sucky Saint Anger Death Magnetic material, then yeah, I will take Slipknot. Uh, Romantic Rides. This name is fucking terrible, by the way. Death. <coughs> sorry. Death from Above, 1979. What the fuck is that name? But if this part sounds good to me right now, if the music sounds good, then you know I can't forgive that name. Let's hear it. What the fuck? It sounds like screechy and fart noise. What the, what the fuck is this song all about? I hate that tone. It's like... It, it sounds like you're farting into a demo tape. That's how it fucking sounds to me. Well, Death From Above, 1979. What the fuck is that name? What the fuck is this song? Terrible band. Next one. And this is, I believe, The White Stripes. So, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I continue and immediately the song starts. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, I mentioned it last minute. It's such an overplayed fucking song. Um, it's kind of like the We Will Rock You of the 21st century. It's a good song, but I just never really care for the White Stripes. I really don't. Number they one. are okay, but... Nah. Seven Nation Army, the White Stripes. They're, they're mostly like rock and roll, blues rock music. And Mac White is like the... the Fucking like the most basic fucking drummer ever, so I'm not a fan of them. But same thing with Dolly Parton. Um, uh, Mac White does deliver in some other part, but not music. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm such a fucking sexist, but I mean, come on. You know, she decides to drum, so of course it's gonna flip all around. I mean, that's her fucking choice. That's the only thing I always have to say about the white stripes. Some, you know, some nice whack, whack, mac white titties. That's the only thing I have to say about this band. I mean, they do make good music, but I just don't care for, care for it. I really don't. As Jack White picks up the pace in the chorus, there's something almost terrifying and daunting. Jack White picks up the chorus. Dun, 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 it's... Like, what are you supposed to fucking do to this song, man? Especially in the pre-course, it's so fucking boring. And then the song kicks in and you're like, yeah, this is the same thing, but only distorted. Like, who fucking cares? A lot of people, but I don't get it. I do like this part, though, when it kicks in and then, then you have the riff. I do like that distorted riff right there. What the fuck? The sound is so deep, it reminds us of a beat. The sound is so deep. Dun, 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 Deep. Poetic. Tick. The fuck, Max Mojo, the fuck. This is like the most basic fucking song ever. Okay. Same symbol crash over and over again. I just don't get this band, I really don't. I believe Elephant is requested, so I might as well review it, right? It's a good arm cover, uh, red and white and shit. Classic White Stripes cover. Yeah. I mean, the only good ones were the Dream Theater one and the Coheed one. And Coheed fucking sucks, so there you go. There's only one good band on there. I believe that's really it though, there's only one good battle there. 
bent on here, what the fuck? It just takes forever to fade out, I mean, come on now. Um, I mean, the, yeah, it's just okay, I guess, just, nah. I really don't care for the white stripes. Uh, I might as well read the comments, but they're not gonna be interesting. Plugin Baby is better than Seven Asian Army. I mean, they're both fucking dumb, so there you go. Plugin Baby was my favorite. Okay, Normie. Seriously, where's, where is the audio slave? Not just audio slave, but the audio slave. I mean, they're not that good, honestly. I mean, I mean you might as well pick a fucking race you, you know, from the cover song, but that doesn't count, I think, so there you go. I don't think Mr. Brightside has a better guitar with it than Can't Stop. No. Uh, thanks Jesse Pigman for the best suggestion. I didn't know he was into bad music, but there you go. Uh, like for Red Chili Peppers. Okay, who cares? Um, 135 BPM isn't that fast, word Mojo. No. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's not all about BPM though. If, you, if you're like slow as fuck, doesn't matter as long as you deliver the tunes. Muse Best Beyond Air, well, they are overrated as fuck, so of course they are. A dizzying tempo of 135 BPM. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even hear that, but oh my god. I mean, even I know, that's fucking basic as fuck, I mean, come on now. Where did they say that though? I, I, I don't recall that, but there you go. Watch Mojo with a dot in between, sure. Got something right, Muse number two. I would also set Stockholm Syndrome, but hey. Sounds like fucking Downy Syndrome, what the fuck? Uh, Down Syndrome, the song by Muse. <laughs> of course, they wrote a song about that. Uh, Muse number two, I mean, even Muse fans don't think they're their best band, they're number two, so do it what you will. With his gentle strumming, reggae feeling, do you even music? Like, I don't even pay attention to what Watch Mojo is saying, so, yeah, the tripping balls. What about Chop Suey? BYOB is literally the same riff over and over, Chop Suey. It's kind of like a guitar riff, or it's like an acoustic guitar, it's not really a guitar riff, I suppose. How are the strokes only an honorable mention? Reptilia is a great riff, but it's, it's literally... Du, 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 du. It's literally the, it's it's a fucking Ramones riff. I mean, I do love the Strokes, but it's just so fucking repetitive. I mean, come on. But they are a great band. But that that song is just fuck all. No Foo Fighters, strange. I mean, does do Foo, Foo Fighters have a good riff? I don't, I don't think so. I would have voted Newborn for Muse number one. I mean, everyone the same Muse. Reptilian on Momentia is not that good, they have way better songs, so there you go. An History by Muse and Blood and Thunder. Okay, Hestera, Hestera. Was it a dare to use the word daunting a million times in this video? Again, I didn't even realize, so there you go. I miss Revolution is my name from Pater. That's a fucking great song. I love the song. Uh, definitely would have picked Night of Sidonia. Fuck that song. That song is so fucking boring. Um, Night of Sidonia. Fuck off. Unho yeah, face of an next fuck's sake. Modest Mouse. Modest Mouse is so fucking boring. I, I don't get that band. Darkness. Animal I have become, what the fuck is that? Like by some inner hipsy chick, so it's probably bad. No one knows and plug-in baby are better than Seven Nation Army. Set by some like emo fact, so it doesn't matter. Fat lip by some 41 definitely should have been on there. Oh my god, get some better music taste. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god. I, I hate when people who aren't musicians try to explain music. That's what's mojo for you. I feel like MCR should have been an honorable mention. Uh, do they have a good guitar riff? LMAO, lol. I'm sorry, but they're not that good on guitar compared to these. And I promise I do like MCR. Yeah, so, yeah that's kind of my opinion about MCR. They are a good band, but um, 
they're not really riff based they're more of a like feel melancholic kind of bands and pop and garbage but they are, they do have some good songs i do like some of their songs but they're not that good they're just okay in my opinion kind of like green day in a way N not a single foo fighter song disappoint the mo mojo of course you are dipshit not a single tom morello riff woof yeah but oh yeah yeah audio slave but i mean audio slave isn't that good i mean just listen to rage this list makes me sad, the iconic feels dead, um, kind of like an old fart like me, yeah, I mean, pretty much. The only good riff on here was, yeah, the Koei tune and the Dream Theater tune, so there you go. Um, Mr. Brightside gives me terrible flashbacks. Uh, you know, fucking delete the word flashbacks and just say Mr. Brightside is terrible. Just, <laughs> just remove gifs and me too and just type in is. Mr. Brightset is terrible, and I would like it for that, and yeah, fuck it. In my opinion, Plugin Baby or Asteria should be number one, but Seven Nation Army is a good choice. I mean, everyone is basically saying it's an overrated song, so it's not that good. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like the, it's kind of like the Smells Like Teen Spirit of the 2000, it really is. I've put some Lamb of God on the list, also maybe some Tool. I mean, Tool is more of a bass band, I suppose, and Lamb of God is... Uh, do, they, do they have a good riff? They do have some good riffs though, but I can't really think about any of them. But that, those are two good bands. Holy Moses does have some good music though, so there we go. Dragon Force, Through the Fire and the Flames, or is it just me? That's like a fucking... What the hell even is that? That's like a fucking journey. I mean, come on now. There's, it's kind of like Koei and Cameron. That is a good song. When I saw that, I don't, don't really care for the band. So that is the list, uh, thank you for watching this video, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this one, let me know if you like this one. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one and peace.